It's famous among watch collectors of all spectrum, from car travel owners to Timex owners. You don't have to know much about watches to like it. It'll speak for itself once it gets on your wrist. It's robust, it's affordable, and it's iconic. On this episode of How Does It Wear, we we're talking about the Seiko SKX 007. I owned this watch before when I started collecting just around two years ago. It stood probably next to my Seiko Star 033 and my Speedmaster Professional because it's something that I knew I could put on a whim without worrying about it. Something I couldn't do with my other watches at the time. Now I'm not climbing mountains or building skyscrapers. It's not my profession. I'm either in class, in an office, or in a lab. This watch is built way more robust than I need it to be quite frankly. But knowing that it can take the stresses of my daily activities, whether it be extreme desk diving or the occasional hit on the doorknob, without any serious repercussions makes me really satisfied about the SKX. Now it's not some hot horology piece, and looks quite funny group next to my Rolex GMT Master 2 and some Mariner as it competes daily for my wrist time. I'm not going to lie, I wear either of my two Rolexes 5 out of 7 days of the week, but in between my schedule, there's always time to switch out and whip out the SKX for workouts and other activities. And this is where the watch really excels in, and this is why I bought it. The watch serves its purpose, and it does it extremely well. I'm not looking for some super high accuracy movement or some delicate refined casework. I was in the market for a beater that fits my taste in divers and provides comfort while doing so. Now I'm not going to give you any specs since there is many resources available online, but I'll tell you how it wore on my wrist. So on my 6.75 inch wrist, it wears just as big as I like it to. This means not too big nor too small. It's a sports watch so I wanted to make a presence on the wrist and the size definitely accomplishes that. Something I don't like is the height. It really doesn't bother me much in terms of clothing since I don't wear cuff shirts with this watch. But I just don't like watches that are too tall aesthetically. The crown guards are executed well aesthetically but they make it a little annoying to adjust the stem. And there are alignment issues with the watch such as the chapter ring and the bezel which doesn't click at the 12 o'clock position. However these things are to be expected for a watch in this price point. What I do like is the bracelet. A lot of people hate the bracelet for how cheap and flimsy it feels, but it is the exact flimsiness that provides the extreme comfort for my case. The fact that it isn't rigid and so free flowing allows the individual links to contour to my wrist quite nicely. The bezel action is a bit tight, but I did notice it loosen up after breaking it more. Although I'll probably never go diving with this watch, like many people, I use the bezel as a timer which is quite useful. The quick set day date is also functional and useful at times, but due to the watch's lack of hand winding capability, mine is usually never correct. But again, since it is quick set, I can always make that right. Something that we can't forget about the watch is the loom. It is Seiko's legendary Lumobrite, which arguably lasts longer than the loom found in much more expensive timepieces. It's really nice to know that my dial is visible in the dark after charging under the light whether intentional or not, which has come in handy a few times already. Lastly, I know that if I ever get bored with the watch, I'll be able to modify the watch with different dials, hands, bezels, inserts, movements, and bracelet. The SKX is just a great base to start working from because it does have the 7S26 movement. I do have a video of modifying a Seiko SNK 809, which is also the 7S26 movement. If you want to watch it, I'll include a link on the top right corner of this video right now. So that's about everything for me. I really do enjoy this watch and I'm glad I rebought it for the time being. I can't say that it will be a permanent keeper, but I'm having a lot of fun with it right now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you did find this useful. If you did, please make sure to give this video a like and make sure that you subscribe for more content like this.